kids want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like how this is going. I put contacts in for you guys, so I'm sure the least you can do is hit that like button. Mwah! Love you! Bye! This palette I'm using today is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Um, and the reason I'm using this is because I feel like it has the best shades for this look. I'm going in with this shade first, and then I go in with this shade, this shade, and this one, sorry. And then this one is the last shade I go into. Also have my contacts in. They hurt, I'm not gonna lie. No, I don't think it hurts. I think it's more the light. Hold on, I'm gonna fix my hair. I'm squinting, or if you feel like you can't see my eyes, I can't see them either. <laughs> um, so just... Oh, see, I don't care if this eye cries, but this one not yet. We're going in with the Bonza Swag Concealer. I know I'm using concealer, but YOLO for today. So who has entered my giveaway? It's a $150 AUD giveaway. So Australian. Um, and it's for literally anyone who wants to have fun. Before we get started, officially, I just want to say the biggest shout out to my girl Sam. I've put her Instagram right here. She won my comment giveaway on Instagram. So every week I do a like little questionnaire and the first person to get it right gets featured on my Instagram. I will link it down below as well. Make sure to follow her. She's amazing. Love her, love her, love her. Because my eyes are so watery, I don't know if I'm in focus. I hope to God I am. I really do. I like to look down because I want to put that on my crease. And then I'm just going to use this fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I ordered something off Pretty Little Thing. Um, it was a few weeks ago. And it said, I got a like message on my, you know when you get a notification on your phone and it says like, you know, that it came, whatever. I was like, oh yay, my pretty little thing order came. So I went outside, no parcel. Okay. And then um, I was like, oh my God, like where the hell is my order? Like I, I ordered this, blah, blah, blah. So I look at the address. I sent it to my old address. I haven't lived there in like two years almost three so where i used to live it was like a half an hour 40 minute drive and i was like oh my god okay so i have had a little bit of bad luck and i was like to my sister okay it's either that these people aren't home which we're going to be lucky if they're not two they're home and they've taken it or three they're bothered which i doubt but they were bothered and they took it back to the post office because i called the post office and they're like the only thing you can do is either drive there see if it's there or you got to like call the post and see if anyone's handed it in. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to do all this again. So then I was like to my sister, do you want to go for a drive? <laughs> Going in with this shade here. Anyway, so we went for a drive. I have not seen this house in literally like two years. It has been two years since I haven't seen that house. So I kind of like was anxious to say the least. And yeah, we went and then I was like to her, don't ring the doorbell, like don't ring the doorbell just in case they're home and like, like just see if it's out the front first. If it's not, then we can like go in. What does she do? She rings the doorbell. And then I freak, I don't know why I freaked out. Cause I was like, oh my God, because the thing is, I know this is so weird, but when I, when we had to move out of, like when we had to move things from my dad's house, I was so upset and um, I remember one night I was like, I just want to go and like, I want to see what's happening there, you know? So I went and <laughs> the people came outside and they were like, not that nice. So I was like, I don't want the same thing to happen, even though I don't reminisce that house ever. Um, and yeah, and then I told her to have a look at it. It was literally on the porch and I'm like, as if you would not, like, wow, as if you wouldn't check there. So then we got in the car as I'm reversing out. <laughs> I'm like, quick, quickly, let's get in. Like just before anyone like, mind you, our doorbell didn't even work when we lived there. So whatever. 
Anyway, we're reversing out. And I see a little head peek out and I was like, schnitz. Because the thing is like, I drove in the driveway. So <laughs> it wasn't like I was doing a U-turn. But I mean, she didn't call the cops or anything. So we saved, we got saved. But just a warning from now on, when you buy anything, just make sure it's going to the right house. <laughs> because I clearly made that mistake and it's a very silly one. <laughs> But I mean, it really does happen. Like, I didn't like. Yeah, it was it was just a funny story I had to tell you, because I couldn't even believe it happened. I was like, did this just happen? Like, because you don't really hear about things like this happening. And I'm like, I can't. And I thought I deleted that address, so now I definitely deleted it. I went ahead and deleted it just to make sure that we don't ever have this issue again. And yeah, it was fun. It was a fun drive there and back. And that was my story. <laughs> I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution palette. Don't mind that, it's just glue. And I'm going in with this black shade. Getting that just black shade. And what I'm doing is I'm actually starting from my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna like very light, like who cares if it's messy? Cause this is a paintbrush. You just wanna like do like a wing. Ish. Start at the bottom actually. Sorry, I should have said that from the beginning. And just kind of bring it halfway. Just like that, you know? And then I just like, if I have a little nail. Like, I'm just gonna put this in my waterline. I just have to say one thing, and we all get it. You know your little eye boogers? Please take them out before doing an eye look. Just trust me. If you trust me, trust me when I tell you to take them out. It makes such a big difference when you're taking a photo. I don't know if you've watched my video um, where I talk about BYS and I'm testing out their products. It was my sparkly video actually where I use these. This is like my new favorite lash. Tip to get your makeup off without like, you know, dehydrating your skin. I put a little bit of coconut oil, um, I just put it back, sorry. I put a bit of coconut oil on a pad and then I get it and I just tap like that. And what that does is it's actually hydrating your under eyes so it's getting ready for like any kind of concealer or any full heavy bull schnitz that we're gonna be putting on it, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I thought that was a black line. It's just indentations. Wow, okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am thinking about getting Botox because, <laughs> feels so weird telling. So I really wanna get my, I wanna um, fix like my eyes because I heard that if you get Botox there, really help. Start off by blending my chin. And the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want that my under eyes to just kind of soak up all of that concealer and stuff like that. Getting this Anne Hazarati F05 brush. And I'm just gonna start by patting that in. Oh, wow. So I'm using the same side that I used for the foundation to blend out my contour. And the reason I'm doing this is so it can blend out way more Seamlessly. And with the Born This Way, can, uh, Born This Way. Oh my God, I'm going with a dried cosmetic setting spray. <laughs> I'm going in with this Marc Jacobs bronzer and I love this because I feel like it's so natural and it just gives a really nice finish. And I'm just gonna very lightly I'm kind of just blending that, if that makes sense. Back with the Kat Von D palette and I'm using these both, these both shades. Both of these shades. And what I'm doing, taking it on this big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna be going over my whole face.
and with a more defined brush and I'm gonna be putting this right under my eyes like kind of where the lash line is and I'm only gonna very lightly smoke this out see 99 lipstick I was actually gonna go in <laughs> with the Too Faced <laughs> but I'm like I feel like I've used so much Too Faced I need to relax but I feel like this is like a pretty good match Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. So, I know I said I was going to use um, the Sephora one, but I actually just had a look at Rihanna's makeup, and it looks like it's a bit more purpley undertone. I did wipe it off, so I look a bit crazy. <laughs> um, this is the Melissa Sassine Fierce 856. This is an amazing shade and her brand is just, it's actually very good. She's a lovely person as well. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I don't have hoop earrings, so. I had to settle for these and yeah Riri I love you so much you are like literally my spirit animal I love 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 you I wanted to like put my head to the side but that's not what she did so don't forget to enter my monthly challenge it ends the 1st of July basically all you gotta do is do your makeup you could literally just do this look and then go for like a 10 minute walk 10 minute run Make it creative. Make sure to tag me on Instagram. Put it on your stories or on your wall. You can tag as many times as you want. More entries, more chances to win. I was going to say win. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Better have my money. Don't, don't count me where I got. Pay me what you want me. Whoop.